Okay, now we've got someone who says today's rally is just the beginning. He sees some nice upside potential for the rest of the year. Tom Belisis is the CEO of John Thomas Financial. I, I don't know. Nice. It's it's getting a little pricey, is it not? Does that worry you that we're up? Above 1,300 on the S&P? I don't. I think it's just the beginning. If earnings stay where they are, stocks are very undervalued. I mean, if you look at the energy companies, let's look first and foremost at the banks. You got Goldman Sachs coming out with great numbers, Wells Terrific. Fargo's as well too. Now, Citigroup didn't come out with good numbers, but look at the comments they came out with. Loans are increasing which is a good sign for the economy. So I think people are penetrating that and look at that as an opportunity to buy stocks right now in the market. It's interesting that January 1st seemed to be, at least this year, a trigger because Bank of America, which was just dismal in performance last year, has actually been the best financial performer. But spread it out from financials because they're really hard to peg depending on what sure. the news flow is. You got this news out of the IMF that Christine Lagarde, of yep. course, may be saying that they need another trillion dollars if they're ready to put that in to save Europe. Europe's problems, are they becoming coming further in the rearview mirror or are they just as important? No, I think they're becoming further in the rearview mirror list and you have a great point. And it's a very complicated situation, I'll tell you why. Now the IMF has identified that they need approximately a trillion dollars. Who knows, the number may be higher than that. Now there are some countries that are willing to contribute into the IMF but they're reluctant to do so because they don't want that money going back to Europe. They've said Europe has got enough money, let's give it to the countries that need it, let Europe stand on their own. So I think they're going to look to accomplish it by the end of February at the G20 meeting. Now the White House has said today in fact that none of our money will go towards an extra bailout of Europe but money's fungible. Once it gets into the IMF pot, isn't it tough to distinguish that which is used for Europe from everything else they do? Yes, David, that's a great point, but I think it's going to be a political nightmare if they find more of our money going overseas. I don't think in the But again, how are you going to separate a dollar for this cause from a dollar for that cause? That's a great point, but you know, right now everyone's focusing on the U.S. economy. The numbers are positive, they're getting better, and let's not forget, we're in the fourth year of a presidential cycle, which historically is a very positive year True. for stocks, and this is going to be a very contentious presidential cycle, and as I and you have been talking about this, there's a lot of entrepreneurial demand on the sidelines and I've been pounding the table list once this is unleashed into the marketplace we could have a blast off here in the market I, can't, I haven't heard you this optimistic in a long time. Okay, so that said, where do you put your money? What do you like right now? We love energy, selective technology. You've seen what's happened with Apple. I mean, the stock's back at a 52-week high. We love selective biotech stocks, particularly in the hepatitis C space. You've seen some great acquisitions with inhibit techs. Bristol Myers bought them Yesterday out. Yesterday, we had a Killian on the show, and they have some real possibility there. Absolutely, as well. So there's a lot of opportunities in the marketplace. You just got to pick your points, watch the buy side, and make sure that if you do get a profit, you take it and you move on to the next. But Apple, people are looking at 450 again. Again, there's, it's a strong company. You have these incredible products coming up with Apple TV and everything. But isn't there something new that you're looking at? All those young entrepreneurs that have been waiting for the right moment to get in. Do you have any tips on who's new? Well, listen, there's a lot of talk of the Facebook IPO coming out, you know, this year as well. And we've been buying some Facebook shares in the secondary market because I think that's going to be another area of where people are going to invest. Social media names have done terribly. Groupon and Zynga and all of that. They have not done well they in their IPOs. Because their valuations list have been, you know, you know, astronomical. And they don't justify those valuations. Now, you look at a Facebook now. Now, those valuations they now, money. they make money. They make $4 billion plus a year. So that's a good area to invest in on top of the Apples and the bigger tech companies of the world. Tom Belisis, what a pleasure to see you, Thank you, you guys Thank very much.